Hey everyone, since everybody does their Dollar Tree hauls, I figured I better get, better start doing mine as well. Um, I don't get all the awesome products that everybody else gets. Um, I do get some of the products, but not every, every one of them. So these are my Dollar Tree um, buys. Um, my hubby opened this up last night. It's peanut butter sandwiches. They're kind of comparable to Nutter Butters. Um, I didn't particularly like them, but I don't like processed foods. So um, my husband ate them. Um, we have, we put the rest in a um, sandwich keeper to keep them fresh. And that's what they look like. It's a decent size cookie they're kind of heavy they're full of peanut butter um he said they weren't bad he he doesn't think they are nutter butter but for a buck they weren't bad so there's that um i got two of these tea tree mint shampoos they smell amazing i can't wait to try them i haven't tried them yet so i don't know if they're any good as soon as i start working on them and trying them out i will let you know um, we got a full size green tea. Um, the little cans that are half the size, not even half the size, are a dollar a piece. So getting this for a dollar is amazing to me anyway. So I also got, uh, two containers of, uh, seasoned salt. I haven't seen this big of a container in a Dollar Tree in a long time. So I picked up two of those. Um, I also picked up the Salon Selective, um, the damage and repair. Um, I have really bad anemia and my hair always looks damaged. So I'm always trying to find something that'll make it look better. So hopefully that works. Um, my son's favorite juice drink, and it is the mango nectar. He loves this stuff. So at, at, uh, we were spending, I think it was like the last time I uh, bought it from Food Lion. It was two twenty eight for this container, and it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, the Brillo dish soap, I like the smell of it. It makes good, decent bubbles. Um, it doesn't last a long time. So if you're doing just small bouts of dishes, then great. Um, I make a lot of homemade stuff so I usually have a lot of dishes we have five people in our house so it uh it didn't last through my whole dish dishes the suds didn't last throughout everything I had to resuds my my uh, sponge that's one of the things I look for in a in a dish soap is will it last me sudsy would it be sudsy the whole the whole way through the um just dish, dishwashing um, I also got these awesome oxygen, uh, cleaners based on you guys and your Dollar Tree hauls. And, um, I've actually, um, I enjoy the smell of this. I don't know if the other one that's got the orange label on it, if it smells different. I do enjoy this one. It smells really good and clean. Um, I haven't noticed any difference, but I've only been using it on my husband's work clothes, which are horrible. He works at a tank company, so he's filthy all the time. Uh, did not do anything for his clothes other than make them smell better. Um, but, uh, I am going to start using it on our, our regular clothes and seeing if maybe it does anything for them. But if not, it's good smell and it was a buck. Um, again, you guys recommended this steakhouse style steak, steak and chops, uh, seasoning. It looks really good. Um, and I trust you guys. So I bought some of that. I also bought two boxes of these. Now. Everybody's showing me these 20, like the 20 gain in a box or the 20 this and that and the other. I found 55 sheets 
in the sun sky fresh which smell clean it's a nice clean smell and then also the breezy in the lavender which i love and so i will be doing me and my daughters and my mother will do hers in this one and we're going to be doing the boys in that that scent um it really love that's this 55 i mean they have the ones at walmart and for 80 i'm spending like three and a half bucks so um i haven't tried these yet i wanted to pick them up i love snacking on nilla wafers um and i'm hoping that Maybe these will taste halfway decent. I will let you guys know in my next, the next time I come on and talk about the Dollar Tree stuff. I also bought these garden snacks. Um, I'm hoping they taste good because I love garden crackers. They are amazing. Um, and then we also got a pack of these. Um, I remember buying these a few years back, and they were uh, they were good. They're not too sweet. Um, I like dessert items to not be super sweet, so I think these were um, fairly decent. They had a fairly good crunch. They weren't like overly, you know, like they're not going to break your teeth or anything like that. Um, and then they have a little bit of an almond flavor. I'm not positive, but I believe that's uh, the way I remember them to be. But I will also let you know when I taste the vanilla wafers whether or not I think they're comparable. Um, I also bought these. Uh, my husband actually found these and he's like, you should buy these and craft with them. Um, there are money gift card holders. They are beautiful. You get eight in a package for a dollar. And so he found the black set, this blue set, and a gold set. And if I take one out, it actually comes with the card and envelopes for all of the cards. So it's very thin, um, like a card stock. And it has these spots in here for you to put a gift card in. And then you close it up. And so I'm going to be checking this out and seeing what I can create with it. Um, just thought it would be a neat idea. I mean, if you can make something eight for a dollar, that's great. I also found this fabric washi, which I love. I love the black and white together design and it has gray in it as well. And I just love how pretty that looks. <clears throat> I got a set of metallic ink markers, the gel markers. Um, silver and gold. I just threw out my gold marker the other day and I was very upset because I was working on my planner and it just kind of exploded all over the place. So I went ahead and bought that, hoping it works good. I also bought these, um, hoping that they work good because, um, every now and again, I'll get like a spot from a stamp or something on my cards. And I've been using the uh, corrector tape runner thing, and that looks hideous. So I'm hoping that, you know, maybe just a little dab of this would work. I will definitely figure that out. And I also got three of these. Uh, these are the photo albums, plastic photo albums, sleeve sleeves and everything. Um... They're really good, easy to do um, scrapbooks, and you can just add pages, add the uh, cardstock to each page, and then put your pictures on there any way you want. Uh, you can add embellishments to the to the pages, and then put them them in there. Just make sure that you don't add too much because you don't want to rip this. These are very uh, inexpensive, um, but um. I was also thinking, because I'm looking for something, um, we have a lot of doctor's appointments, a lot of school activities, a lot of after-school activities, um, a lot of different things that we have to always have scheduled for, and my planner is actually a three-ring binder, um, 
So what I was thinking about doing is making one up for a monthly um, planner that can actually be just tucked into my purse. So then I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to put numbers on it. I'm going to put um, uh, like a note paper in here uh, with lines on it. That way I can go in here and each day we have, you know, like let's say we have a doctor's appointment on the 12th. Well, I would go to the 12th, pull out my page, write it, write down the information and put it back in there. Or I can stick the appointment card in there or anything like that. And then at the end of the month, pull everything out, start again. I just thought that was a really cool idea and it's cheap, a dollar. So, and I got a couple of these. You can actually do that. And that way, I mean, who needs, you know, a whole year planner in their purse? In most cases, you don't. So you just need the month at hand, the month that you're working on right now. So, and then also if you, you know, if it happens that, you know, you're, it's June and then you get a July um, appointment, you just stick it in the front and that way you know where it's at and then you can put it in your planner later on. So I just thought that was a really good idea. I can't afford a $50 planner. I would love to have one, but I'm not going to spend $50 on a planner and then have to spend another $20 to buy inserts every single year for the rest of my life. I just, I can't, ha I can't spend money like that. Um, I'd rather buy $50 worth of groceries. So anyway, I also found these holographic sheets. You get 20 of them and there are all kinds of colors in here. I could not believe the amount of colors you get in here. There are, I mean, it's blue and red and uh, silver and this pretty, like, hot pink purple color. Um, and you get 20 of them for a buck. I mean, how can you even go wrong with that? Look at how cute that is. So, 20 for a buck. I haven't seen anybody else in all the hauls that I've watched. I haven't seen anybody have these. So I'm hoping that's a that's a one that everybody's going to rush out and get. <laughs> and then, of course, everybody's seen these already, or most people have seen these already. These beautiful three-dimensional stamps, I mean, uh, stickers. And I bought them. I just love the fact that they're shiny. They have like little glitter around them or they have little tiny embellishments on them. They're done. They're, I mean, you don't have to add anything to them. They're done. They're ready to go. And they're just gorgeous. They would be great for cards, for letters, for pot, for flip books, for pocket letters, for anything. Because they're not too thick or anything. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, they're just gorgeous, and I've bought every one that I could find. So, that's it. That's all I got for you. Happy crafting, and keep up with those great hauls. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.